Right, as I said, there might be a quick handheld wobbly tour of the machine, and I've decided to do that, so without more ado, this is my little benchtop milling machine, set up for working on this piece of brass that I was working on earlier in the lathe. I've got a motorised head running through a gearbox, three-speed belt drive on the back, and that whole assembly goes through the main head and in this mode, as you can see, it's set up for horizontal milling. There's also an adapter that can go on this front face and then you feed the spindle down through the top of that and you can have a vertical mill. As I say, it was last set up for gear cutting, so I had it in horizontal mode. That's easiest for me to do this job. So quick run of the controls. Main top slide is controlled here. There's its stop. And here we have the control to raise and lower the knee. And it's a Swiss machine. And guess what? It's Imperial. So as you can see, each graduation is five tenths of a thousandth of an inch. And there's the smallest fiduciary marks imaginable on here. You probably can't even make it out. There's one there for when you're operating from the front of the machine and one here from when you're operating from the side. The knee comes up, operated by this control, as I said, and again, you have a traverse on it. This machine's slightly unusual in that this rail here carries all sorts of different attachments. You can hang a table off it, uh, a universal holder, which is what's on here at the moment, this here and into that you can feed dividing equipment a simple rotary table there's a vice on a really nice spigot that just can drop into there it's quite an adaptable machine but very very small so not a bridge port by any stretch of the imagination but for what i do it's a nice useful little machine and so we've got stops this is on the traverse nice little adjustable stops and I've set those in one round this side as well. There we go. So I've set those for my limited travel. There's a stop on the knee also been set. And that's been set to give three mil depth of cut on each side. There's locks. There's a lock for the top slide. A lock of a different form for the traverse. There we are, it's a rotary lock on that one. And you can just about make it out there for the raising and lower of the knee. You can lock it off with that little lock there. This little dividing attachment that's dropped in, as you can see, has tailstock support. Nice, neat dividing arrangement. Maybe I'd have make out, I last did a 40 tooth gear on that. It's an 80 division gear that's on there. Nice little system for this. Just lift that plunger out and engages very neatly in the teeth. Rock solid. Really nice setup. You can probably also see I'm quite a fan for marking each division that that plunger has to go into. I'm not a fan of ending up with half a tooth on a wheel or anything annoying like that. Right, as I said, very wobbly, but hopefully gives you an idea of what the machine is, and I will get on with some machining. <laughs> 